One of Melbourne's most cherished suburbs, one renowned for its iconic buildings, is now getting its very own Lego tower. St Kilda is home to some of our most iconic buildings, the Palais, the SB, Luna Park. Artist Matthew Johnson wanted to add his vision to its rich tapestry. You know, having visited and inhabited St Kilda through parts of my life, one can't help but feel is that there, there needs to be something that is totemic or sculptural that actually in, is like a signifier to this neighbourhood. You know, there you, you turn right there. When you see that particular building, you will turn right onto Fitzroy Street. The developers worked on a strict brief from the City of Port Phillip Council. The design component behind the building was that it would need to be iconic, where it was a very colourful building, it was a, uh, a piece of art that would actually um, be engaged with the community. The, the exterior facade of the building will actually change its sheen and colour during, during the day and also gives a, a, an identity to the building where owner-occupiers will actually say, well, yes, I live in the blue box. This facade system's never been done before anywhere in the world, so to be able to install this facade with all these colours, working with this material on this structure has been amazing. It's ambitiously named the Icon. Last year, some St Kilda residents weren't quite convinced by plans. But with the gantry coming down, we'll see how iconic it becomes.